Have you ever had the nightmare where you're in the radio studio, your song is fading, you're on the other side of the room and you just can't make it in time to the board to trigger the next song and dreaded dead air strikes. I think it's like the top nightmare of radio DJs. It's happened to me countless times. I still have it and I haven't been on the real air in over 10 years. Well, nobody wants it. Whether you're on real radio or internet radio, you want to avoid the cardinal sin of radio, silence. And if you run a station like mine that's on a virtual server and way out there in the cloud, a lot of times it's really hard to monitor what's going on. And even if you run one from home on your laptop and you're out and about, you don't know if your station's still on the air. You hope it is. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and I found a way to not only avoid dead air, but get a text and email when it happens so you can spring to action and fix things. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Let's dive in. We are on the air. We're going to keep your VU meters moving in three easy steps. Well, actually, four easy steps. The first would be to... <laughs> Listen to TripleX80s.com throughout this tutorial. It'll put you in the dead air busting mood. Okay, with that accomplished, head over to PIRA.CZ. PIRA.CZ. This is the site where you're going to download the PIRA CZ silence detector. And it's our favorite kind of wear, free wear. And there's a bunch of information on the site how to use this in different situations. There's actually a form if you have some questions. So once you have it downloaded, configuring it will be easy step number two. Right now I have an active audio signal. It offers a ton of functionality and this is what my settings look like. Alarm activation conditions. You first set the conditions you want for the alarm to be triggered. Right now I have it set for 10 seconds of silence coming through both channels. And of course this is all customizable. And then you can even get more detailed. For example, I do a hard shutdown and reopen of my system in the wee hours of the night. So I want to disable the alarm so it doesn't trigger this alarm sequence, as you'll see. So I'm able to say disable the alarm if the time is between 3.57 and 3.59 a.m. So I'm able to do my restart and not trigger the alarm. Also, when do you want to return from the alarm condition? Well, you could set it. Well, when sound comes back, it needs to be solid for at least one, two, three seconds. So those are the parameters that determine when the alarm is triggered. Next, what should happen? Well, this shows the Schwarzenegger-like muscle of this freeware. You could tell this thing to do a bunch of things. So for me, after an alarm is triggered, I like to shut Radio DJ down, have the app send me an email saying, hey, your station's off the air, wait a couple seconds, then relaunch Radio DJ, and my auto DJ settings are such that once it reopens, it starts playing the rotation. So at most, I'm off the air for 15 seconds, which is pretty good. Compared to sometimes when I'm not actively monitoring the station, I could be off hours or even a day. Huge audience killer. So I have kill application here just to show you why it's not ideal for radio DJ. So if we pull radio DJ up, when the silence detector tries to shut radio DJ down, it basically puts it into this state. It's waiting for a keystroke the OK button to be clicked in order to shut the program down. Well, that'll never happen using the silence detector. So don't use it. Instead, this is what my task queue looks like. The alarm's detected. It sends me an email, and you put all your email parameters in here. It waits a couple seconds. It then runs this batch file, which closes Radio DJ the right way, and then right after that, reopens it using this batch file. So this is what the... Uh, close radio DJ batch file looks like and this just kills it it doesn't wait for anyone to click OK as for my startup file when it restarts it this batch file is basically saying wait three seconds and then start up radio DJ and then I'm back in business I'm only off the air for about 15 seconds but as you can see the, the software has a lot of functionality you could set up delays. You could actually take a screenshot. So if you want to further diagnose your problem, maybe that helps. Over on the return tasks tab, which I don't use, it also has some interesting options. And over on the settings tab, this is how I have mine set up. 
So right after startup, the alarm is not active for at least the first 30 seconds after startup. And this is very important because you have to tell it, where am I pulling your audio signal from? So active endpoint listening is voice meter input, VB audio, voice meter VIO. And this also kind of tripped me up in the beginning is the minimum threshold level of your dBs. Set it low enough to where you're not getting false alarms. Sometimes you could have music that gets very quiet. It's not totally silent, but you don't want this shutting down your station. So let's test this out. Right now we have an active healthy signal. Let's go over to Radio DJ. Let's shut it down. Off the air, losers. And the 10 seconds begins. So what are we at here? A couple, five, four, three. Let's see if this shuts the program down and then restarts it within the parameters that we've set up. There we go. It shut it down. It's running my batch files. And then... With modern software miracles. Look at that. Radio DJ is restarting. And if this were my real station, it would have started up automatically. But this is just my production version. So there, it totally worked. So check in on email amidst the spam souffle. Look at that. There is the email. Triple X80 silence detector message. Silence detected on this date at this time. Whammo bammo. Wildly useful in a way. But the software is doing the heavy lifting. I still don't have to do anything. It's going to shut the system down and restart it, which hopefully flushes out the problem and gets the radio train back on the tracks. But it is nice to know if you're experiencing a lot of shutdowns, a lot of dead air, something's wrong and needs to be investigated. But that's not all, folks. With easy step number three, not only will you get an email, but you'll get a text message when you go off the air. That is royally righteous. So to do that, we go over to Zapier and get your zap on. Here you see my off-air SMF zap, but I'll show you how to create your own. Let's get zappy with it from the beginning. You first want to create a trigger. And to do that, you look for the Gmail trigger. This doesn't seem to have like a Yahoo or Hotmail trigger. So come on, Gmail. It's free. It's incredible. It'll change your life. If you don't have 14 Gmail addresses already, we'll, we'll start. So get yourself a Gmail address. And next, the event you want to choose is new email matching search. So this is what kicks off the zap. Continue. This is the email I'm using, which is redacted for public consumption. You enter your email. And then here is the important part. I want this zap to go into action when the subject line reads silence detector, which is set in the silence detector app you could choose the subject line that it will email you. So it's now going to test my trigger and look in my email address for a uh, past email with that subject line. And oh my God, it just found one because we just received that email a minute ago. And there it is, the subject, triple X 80 silence detector message. And our trigger subject needs to have silence detector before you activate the zap. So big deal. All it's done is found an email with our trigger words. That alone, we haven't accomplished anything. The next step produces the gold. You have to set an action. That's the trigger. Once it's been triggered, you got to tell Zap what to do next. And this is pretty rock star awesome. And you could use this for so many other things. You want it to send you an SMS message. But better, you want to do it for free. Because that's how this radio DJ rolls. Now, I already have this installed. We'll peek under the hood in that in a second. But the event I want to create is send an SMS, send a text message. And the action is from, and they give you some phone numbers. It doesn't matter. You choose whatever random numbers in their thing. And then you could write the message saying, you know, triple X 80 is off air. And then you test it out. And looky there. Here's the text I received from our legitimate off air event just a couple of minutes ago. You obviously need to create a Zap account for any of this to happen and work, but thankfully it's free. And you want to, uh, under My Apps, add the app, SMS by Zapier. Then it brings up the form that asks you for your mobile number, and then you have this SMS Zap app in your account. And then you're ready to go. That is your off-air Zap app. But you see how useful this could be. You could set this up to listen in to your Gmail account for any search string. 
Let's say you want to get notified when a request comes in or a request from a sponsor who wants to give you five grand a month. Boom, done. Three easy steps to keep the signal flowing, the VU meters dancing, and your audience in sheer internet radio bliss. Just like that, dead air be gone. Pretty cool, right? Give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude. I appreciate you giving me a couple minutes. I've got a lot more cool radio DJ videos in the hopper. And if you have a topic you'd like me to address, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe too, so you'll be on the cutting edge when I release one of these uber exciting videos. Thanks again for watching. And remember, what's my, f oh my God, it's been so long I actually forgot my tagline. Well, let's just cut to an older video of me doing the tagline. Thanks again for watching and most important, Keep rocking those mics all over the world.